In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert video into pictures. Now, I'm going to be doing this with a program called Windows Movie Maker. Windows Movie Maker is usually included with most Windows operating systems, so if you have a PC, this may not cost you anything. Let's go to Start, and let's select Windows Movie Maker. Now Windows Movie Maker is open. Now let's find a video in which we would like to create pictures from. So let's go to import video. Now here's a video I would like to choose, let's say. It's a video I took when I was by the shore, so let's click on that. After you click on it, it will be importing it into Windows Movie Maker. This is just going to take a few seconds. Okay, there's the video. It breaks it up into a few pieces, which makes it easy to edit. So let's say I want to take a picture from this segment of the video. Now, all you have to do is basically just drag this timeline, hold down the left mouse button, and just drag it right across towards the right or towards the left, and as you move it, the video will go forward. Now, there's really nothing here, it's just a small segment, so let's try this segment right here. Now notice, if you click on a segment, it'll appear in the timeline right here. So let's choose something from here. Let's go across. And here we go. Things are really starting to change. So let's say I remember that I took a video somewhere, let's say here, and I wanted to take a picture of this bird, which is very interesting. And it says water walk. I wanted to actually make this into a picture, but I have all this other stuff. So let's say I just wanted this. All you have to do is just move it around to your liking. Let's say you center it. There you go. All right. Now let's say you want to take a picture of this. All you have to do is click on this button right here. Just click on it. And now all we have to do is name it. Let's call it Bird Photo. Right. And let's save it in our desktop. So let's change this to desktop click save and that's it there you go it's right on our desktop now let's open it up and take a look at it now that looks great that's actually a photo we just took a piece of the video turned it into a photo now let's compare it to the video let's see the quality there's the photo there's the video looks good now just think about the possibilities here let's say you don't have money to buy a digital camera and you're going on a vacation and you take a lot of videos and you want to make some prints you want to actually make a photo album you want to be able to email the photos to friends or load them into a social network or where, any place that you can actually post photos because videos are a little bit hard to handle they're large you can't really email them because they're very large files they take time and people want to have photos of course so here you have an actual photo. I mean, we just took this right out of the video. We extracted it out. The part that we liked, we created a photo out of it. I mean, you can actually print this. You can send this by email. You could do anything with this and create actual prints. So it can be really handy. It's really quick, easy to use. We just did this in seconds. So there you go, how to convert video into pictures. I hope you found this video useful to you. Please show your support for this channel by subscribing. Feel free to leave comments and rate this video. And thank you for tuning in. After you click on it, it will be importing it into Windows Movie Maker. This is just going to take a few seconds. Okay, there's the video. It breaks it up into a few pieces, which makes it easy to edit. So let's say I want to take a picture from this segment of the video. Now, all you have to do is basically just drag this timeline, hold down the left mouse button, and just drag it right across towards the right or towards the left, and as you move it, the video will go forward looks good now just think about the possibilities here let's say you don't have money to buy a digital camera and you're going on a vacation and you take a lot of videos and you want to make some prints 
you want to actually make a photo album you want to be able to email the photos to friends or load them into a social network or where any place that you can actually post photos because videos are a little bit hard to handle they're large you can't really email them because they're very large files they take time and people want to have photos of course so here you have an app in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to convert video into pictures now I'm going to be doing this with a program called Windows Movie Maker Windows Movie Maker is usually included with most Windows operating systems so if you have a PC this may not cost you anything let's go to start and let's select Windows Movie Maker now Windows Movie Maker is open now let's find a video in which we would like to create pictures from so let's go to import video now here's a video I would like to choose let's say it's a video I took when I was by the shore so let's click on that button right here just click on it and now all we have to do is name it let's call it bird photo right and let's save it in our desktop so let's change this to desktop click save and that's it there you go it's right on our desktop now let's open it up and take a look at it now that looks great that's actually a photo we just took a piece of the video turned it into a photo now let's compare it to the video let's see the quality there's the photo there's the video now there's really nothing here it's just a small segment so let's try this segment right here now notice if you click on a segment it'll appear in the timeline right here so let's choose something from here let's go across and here we go things are really starting to change so let's say I remember that I took a video somewhere let's say here and I wanted to take a picture of this bird which is very interesting and it says water walk I wanted to actually make this into a picture but I have all this other stuff so let's say I just wanted this so all you have to do is just move it around to your liking let's say you center it there you go alright now let's say you want to take a picture of this all you have to do is click on this